Hi, this is Phil Town for rule number one. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna do a little Q&A right here. So let's begin. Let's hear the first question. Nadav from Facebook asks, where is the market going to? Is the January effect going to end the bullish ride? How to play the RET BPS in a declining market? Answering these questions will help us a lot. Thank you. All right, Nadev, those are pretty insightful questions you're throwing at me there. Where's this market going? We all would love to know that. And I wish I had a crystal ball that I could tell you for sure. Here's what I've done is I've really taken a look at the tools. And the tools, as you know, because you're a good student, are going to give us red arrows on the monthly signals on the MA, the MAC, moving average, the MACD, and the stochastic set to 10 periods, 8, 17, 9 periods, and set to 14, 5. So if you know what I'm talking about, you're going to be able to figure this out of roughly what that market's doing. Currently, I'll tell you from where I'm looking, this market's still in an upward trend and it hasn't topped out yet. At least it's still going forward on that tool set. Now, what about the January effect is going to end the bullish ride, right? Because everything's happening in December. All the mutual funds are squaring up their, their accounts. And then in January, not so much. So will this end this? You know, the bullish ride is going to end on a trigger. I don't know what it is. It could be the littlest thing because as this market has gone up for five years now, we're way, way past the line where we would normally see a recession of some sort kick in. And how do we play this? How do we play this with the Russell expiration day bull put spread? That's a really good question. And if, if this starts to drop off, are we going to do a bull put spread into a declining market? And the answer is yes, we are. And the reason is, is because as this market starts to decline, it accelerates the fear in the market of everything below the market prices. So when we're doing rule one uh, bull put spreads well down below the market price, the uh, premiums and net credit on those options are growing larger and larger and larger. And what that means is we are able to find a place where we can do a strike price far, far from the money. Let's say in a normal market, we're at eight or 9% away from the money. When we really see the market start to tumble, we're going to get paid that minimum amount that we need to do the deal, get that 48% return. We're going to see that happen at 11%, 12%, 15% away from the money. So a declining market actually works really good for the rule one uh, uh, Russell expiration day trade on a bull put spread. But I'll add one more thing. We just may start throwing in a bear call spread on top of it if we can get paid well enough for it. And we might leg into that trade. So we end up with legging into an iron condor on this. And that's what we've been doing the last couple of months. So take a look at that as an option as this market starts to decline. Now, remember, it's not declining yet. We're still going in an upward trend. So thanks for watching this one, you guys. Appreciate participating in this Q&A. And I'd love to continue our conversation. So tell me this, just write it out there. What's the single biggest insight you're taking away from today's video, particularly today's, because it was like, you know, pretty advanced. And more importantly, what step can you take right now? What can you go out and do that you can kind of lock in what you've just learned? So figure that out. Leave me a comment. I'd love to know what it is you're going to do differently as a result of hearing this Q&A. Let me know. I'm Phil Town. Time to go play. See ya.